Hello everybody, I hope that your Wednesday is going well and I hope that your February is off to a positive start. I don't know about you all, but January felt like it was about 692 days long but we made it to February. <laughs> so today's video is actually one that a few of you asked me to create. In my video where I talk about a few things people should know before they move to Mexico, I mentioned that maintaining a plant-based lifestyle here has been super, super simple for me. And I asked um, if any of you wanted me to create a video about where I grocery shop and just like what I buy at the grocery store and things like that. And a few of you actually did want to see that. So I documented my grocery haul last week and this video is basically just going to be me taking you along to the two markets that I shop at regularly. The two stores that I shop at for my items are the Green Quarter and Canasta Madre, but there are so, so, so many other like small health food shops and places where you can get your specialty plant-based items. The owners of the two stores were so generous and they let me film inside their store for as long as I needed. So if you ever need something in Mexico City, like plant-based items or just delicious food in general, please, please go show them some love. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this intro and just show you guys the footage. It's super simple. It's literally just me grocery shopping, but I love these stores and I think that they should get as much support as they can. And and um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Now, the reason I love the Green Corner so much is because they offer a great selection of specialty items like uh, kombucha or plant-based sauces, things like vegan mayo, vegan pesto, uh, plant-based cheeses, but they also have an incredible incredible organic produce section. I have never had an issue finding really good quality organic leafy greens here. I would say the produce selection at the Green Corner is what attracted me to this market the most. I've also found that the option to like refill your soaps is really common in this, these health food markets, which I think is incredible. Finding brands like Ezekiel, Nature's Path have never been an issue for me. And you guys know that I love my plant-based pastas. Um, these, I will say, are probably the more expensive items on my grocery list, but they're a huge source of protein for me, so I kind of just bite the cost. Um, and I'm just finishing up my grocery shopping now. My total for this trip came out to about 870 pesos, which is close to 43 USD. And I know it's more expensive because of the specialty items like the pasta and the pesto. Now, I really only go to Canasta Madre for a few items. I love that they have a selection of nuts that you can buy in bulk, and they have the tofu that I really like. My total at this store came out to about 16.48, I wanna say. But this stuff will last me for over a week and obviously the things like the nut butter and nuts last even longer. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank you for showing up for me and as always, just Thank you for being here.